Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I know we've had a, a bit of a break. I think it's two weeks, or nearly two weeks since the previous video. Um, as I've said in the past, it's pretty hard running a sort of PC sort of tech channel uh, when you're only small, because obviously PC parts to review are expensive, so I can't just be buying parts all the time. Um, but we're back anyway with another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing people how to do pretty much like a, um, like a basic CPU overclock, um, but just using the sort of auto overclock feature. Um, so what we'll do is we'll run like the, the, the CPU, obviously the CPU I've got, it's a, it's a Ryzen 5 7600. Um, so 6 core, 12 thread, blah, 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 blah. Um, DDR5 RAM, obviously. Um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to run a test on Cinebench with it at its default clocks. So like no overclock, anything like that. We're going to see what score we get on Cinebench. Then we'll do an auto overclock and I'll show you how to do that which will restart the, the system anyway to obviously apply the OC. Then we'll run another one, another test on Cinebench to see if the score is increased and how much by. Um, so we'll get into it, we'll run our first multi-core test. Obviously I will leave links to where you can download things, because um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. I would leave a link to this version of Cinebench, but when I tried to download it off their website, it won't work. So I got this from the Windows Store, like the App Store. Uh, you can get Cinebench on there. Just go to your App Store on your PC, type in Cinebench, it'll come up. Just download it that way, because uh, this version works fine for me. Um, so as you know, my system is, like I said, it's a, a Ryzen 5 7600 on an ASRock B650 Live Mixer. Um, and I'm running <clears throat> 16 gigs of DDR5 um, and the GPU, not that it matters, is a, an AMD RX 6800 um, but obviously the CPU is liquid cooled as well, I've got 360mm AIO on it um, so the score we got here is 14,222 what we'll do is we'll minimize this now like i said there's two ways of doing it you can either open your amd adrenaline software i don't do it this way but i will show you how you can do it um when it decides it's not going to open as it? it's going to be a pain in the ass right, i'll show you this way first so this is amd riser master um now as you can see tells you your CPU up here so you can see Ryzen 5 7600 6 core processor blah 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 it's got your temps here it's got the current clock speed and your maximum clock speed so 5.1 megahertz if it would like to focus on it and um, tells you your CPU voltage and then tells you the APU clock speed now up here you've got control mode and as you can see you've got auto OC so auto overclock and then manual where you can do all your clock yourself and then a curve optimizer um, now I don't touch the curve optimizer like for videos like this um, I also don't go into manual overclocking because I'm not doing a video on doing a manual OC yourself I will do one in the next week or so um, but that's how you would do on here you would click this and you would click apply Blah, 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 blah. Now, if you wanted to use your adrenaline software, you would open it up, go up to the top, click the performance tab, go to tune in, and then as you'll see here, CPU AMD Ryzen 5 7600, you would click overclock CPU, and then you'll get this warning up saying the system restart is required. And that's how you would do it on there. Your system will restart, and then this will load up automatically, and it will come up with like the clock speeds and everything and the voltage that it's overclocked it to but I'm just going to do it on here now what score did we get on there we got 14222 so we'll close that I'll go 
OOOC go apply as you can see it needs to restart so we will let it restart the system um, you don't tend to get the biggest gains from using obviously an auto overclock um, but if you don't really know what you're doing and you want to get a little bit more grunt from your CPU or even your GPU you can auto OC and it will you will get a little bit extra out of it like I said it's not a you won't get as much as manually adjusting the voltage in the core clocks or going into the BIOS and doing it that way because you can do it that way um, but yes that is my name for anyone wondering um, I'll just wait for it to auto load itself up but yeah um, obviously I just wanted to do a quick video on this like the reason I'm not doing it the reason I'm not showing like how to do a full manual one is obviously there's a lot more to get into with adjusting core voltages and stuff like that. Um, I just kind of wanted to do this video for people that are either new to PCs and have heard of have heard of like overclocking but are unsure on what to do, how to do it, or they're too afraid of damaging something, um, or getting a blue screen or. Because, I mean, the blue, a blue screen's not the end of the world, but, you know what people are like, people will panic. Um, will you do one, Windows 11? So, yeah, as you can see here, it's now set to auto OC, and instead of 5.1 megahertz maximum, it's now 5.25. So, what we will do is we will open um, Cinebench again. And we'll try to beat the score. So we got 14.222 last time. Obviously, we haven't ran a test, so this will be the first test on this overclock. So we might blue screen. I highly doubt it. But we might. Um, so yeah, like I said, we've got to beat 14,222 points. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If you see on the cooler were 100% so the CPU was pegged and it says 72 celsius um, which is solid but like I said this isn't an overly hot CPU it's only a 65 65 watt TDP um, and I've got 360 millimeter AIO cool in it so it's probably a little bit overkill but yeah I more I more bought the AIO for reviewing on the channel and then obviously I just Stick on the system, might as well. Um, so fourteen two 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 to beat. We actually got less this time. Fourteen thousand seventy four now. A, a lower score in Cinebench doesn't necessarily mean that your performance has been hurt by the OC. Um, like there's a couple of things to get into. Obviously, Cinebench one hundred percent sort of maxes your CPU to run the test, whereas if you're gaming on your system or primarily gaming on your system you don't use 100 percent of your cpu usually anyway like i've been playing assassin's creed shadows and i'm surprised if it gets over 50 55 percent cpu util um so there's that but then there's also the whole thing of AMD CPUs and GPUs seem to get better performance out of an undervolt rather than an overclock. Um, I will also throw up another video at some point of how to undervolt. Um, I've done it on the GPU already, but obviously I haven't done it on the CPU, so I will do one on the CPU and how to do that. Um, we will run one more test and see what we get. So we got 14,074 for that run. Um, and again, we're straight to 100% util and 71 Celsius. Um, like I said, don't like, don't, don't use the auto OC and then see that you've got a lower score on Cinebench and be like, oh, it hasn't worked. It's making my CPU perform worse. It's not necessarily the case, like I said. 
um, you are still getting higher clock speeds like my max clock speed like I said instead of being 5100 megahertz it's now 5250 it will probably go way higher than this like this CPU it's just obviously the auto one doesn't want to push the voltage right up and end up killing your CPU um, so yeah 14,074 let's see what we get yeah see now it's 14,227 so we beat the stock score by what five points um, so it can vary it also varies on tasks you've obviously got running in the background um, I haven't got anything running in the background bar obviously rise and master and this that controls the screen on my AIO um, but yeah now I will show you what manual looks like but I won't be actually touching it today so as you can see you've got your core speed obviously in megahertz and then your voltage so this is currently 3.8 at 1.32 volts um, now like it says there when you hover over it the BIOS limit was 2.8 volts it's not even going to bring it up now because it's stupid there we go uh, minimum 0 0.25 volt max 2.8 BIOS limit 2.8 I don't know if you can see it, there we go. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously for clock speed, you can set it at max 8000, but good luck with the blue screen of death on that one. Um, so yeah, like basically in a nutshell to do a manual OC, you would start knocking this up by 25. Um, as you can see, it goes up by 25 every time you click. You would apply it and test see what happens if you get a blue screen it can mean that you need more voltage so just put more voltage to it obviously don't go stupid with it but apply a little bit more voltage test it again if it's still blue screens a little bit more voltage test it again sort of thing until you find a stable thing i like to use occt to stability test the cpu at the same time as trying to run an overclock or an undervolt or anything like anytime you're messing with your CPU or your GPU, you want to be running some sort of stress test. Um, but yeah, that's like basic. Like I said, I'll do a full in-depth video on how to do that. Um, this was just a quick one on how to do an auto one built into AMD software. Um, so yeah, as you can see, like I said, it upped the clock speeds by 150 megahertz. Not the biggest jump in the world, but it is technically better than it was out of the box. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave this video here for now guys, I've chatted enough, um, probably bored you as well half to death, um, we'll have some few, a few more videos coming up in the next like week, two weeks, um, got a couple more like AIOs and coolers to review and some other stuff, um, so keep an eye out for them, um. We are 16 subscribers now away from our first 100 on the channel. So if you wouldn't mind and you're watching this and you're not subscribed, you wouldn't mind subscribing. Um, that'd be great. But yeah, guys, I'll leave it there for now. Um, let me know in the comments below if this helps you in any way or anything like that. Um, but yeah, for now, take care. I'll catch you all in the next video.